So long Scorpex next to the five months. the nine months. Slimbo. Slimbo is always a little bit concerning. I probably get to play through defense there. Because I can block this turn. Even if I miss. I usually take the one with the number 9 written on it here. Especially against Slime Boss. Stone monster. Would definitely be different. You see, um, uh... Dash is such a mopey card. So, probably a card I should take right now. That slime boss is very scary. I should remove the fund. First time I've had well laid plans in my silent deck for quite a while. Let's see how much I regret that against Gremlin Knob. No Gremlin Knob. Well laid plans is good in this fight. Are taking pyramid? Probably. I'm one damage short. This one on Brando. Difficulty. It's pretty hard to just do a random thing every turn and have it be good enough. It's not impossible, but it is quite difficult. 
what you tend to succeed with is having specific things that you can do on different turns of the game to counter the big threats that happen. And Old Egg Plans is very good at making sure that you can line up the right card with the right turn. The Piercing Whale against the times 15 attack from the heart, for example. There are other examples, that's just one of the simplest ones. Be toxic. very long time to kill those. I don't think I want to add a defensive card to my deck right now. Thanks for the sub stone monster. I have food. Should go get it and eat it, probably. Oh, that's unlucky. Definitely favored to draw neutralize again there. Kunai. Endless Agony is sort of cute with Kunai. Sure. I need more damage anyway. I'm taking a blade dance over dagger spray. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, I have to think about that one. The blade dance obviously works with kunai, but I might need dagger spray to get out of the act. I think it's just dagger spray. Oh. I want the blade dance back now. Because I think Fumes just wins the fight.
That it is fine. He drowns in water. Should have brought enough food for all of you. I'm sorry, I didn't. For now. I'm always splitting next turn. Let's just do this. Is this deck strong enough to take Alchemize? <laughs> Probably.
All right. Would I rather lose all of my gold? Or lose all of my cards? Or lose all of my health? actually busted crown with singing bowl. It occurs to me around about now that I really need to find a blade dance. That's okay. I'm sure that it will just drop a blade dance. I guess it still drops a card, right? Are there any bad cards it could drop? Probably not. Probably has to drop a good one. God. I might actually take that. Hey, Luna.
Mark Peng. Use Skyrosky. I guess I can um, hold Crippling Cloud there and have Weak this turn. Yeah, Singing Bowl actually has synergy with Busted Crown.
Oh. All right. Some food. You know, heel hook isn't that bad. With kunai. sleep. I do have a coupling cloud. The wolf thinks for three years. Appreciate it. seems very rude. Ooh. I'm gonna take a dodge roll plus. Oh, it's always slavers, isn't it? So I would like a crippling claw? unfortunate. I can block vulnerable there if I'm not getting weakened first. Lightning. We're gonna put a crippling cloud in our starting hand. And upgrade it. No, probably not. Probably not quite. But at some point I would like to upgrade it. Feels better soon. And yeah, we'll see how the month goes. I would not. 
not recommend dropping a printer on your foot. Why did you do that? <laughs> That's not a good idea. If I were in that situation, I would simply not drop a printer on my foot. Sounds miserable. That it isn't too bad. This way? This way, this way, this way? A lot of options. Ice cream is fun. I don't like have a payoff yet. I could find one maybe. Take this. I guess it's a bit better with bottled crippling cloud and ice cream, actually. Ice cream makes it better. It'll also sometimes be relevant with piercing whale. seeing the end result benefit of dropping a printer on your foot. It's true, because I never try it, right? So I never find out. That is a great point. Busted Crown doesn't do much, but it does make you one energy every turn. You can't deny that it does that. Start with small printers first. Gotcha. I'm learning a lot here. Saw that, Sassy. I love that achievement because not only do you have to like do incredibly well that day, but also everybody else in your team has to just be abject shit. <laughs> like, because if anybody else took a wicket, <laughs> it would be impossible to get that achievement. I find that funny. So I'm gonna die to Collector again, it looks like. Unfortunate. It is always Slavers. This time I have this thing though, which probably helps. Yay, I get to die to Collector again. Well, it's correct. Unless I die to Slavers next turn. They just die to Slavers next turn.
Oh wait. Hashtag blessed. Just recently started watching cricket. It's electric. It is the best sport, objectively. Curling's a pretty great sport. Curling's okay. Yeah, I don't really have anything to do with ice cream, like whatsoever, so I mean, whatever, I have an ice cream. Some turns I draw my hand and I have six energy and three energy worth of cards. Calculated gamble. I could imagine it being like Acro, maybe. <sighs> Take my plate out and fill up my glass of water again. Or because of Busted Crown, your rare chance goes up every time you see a common and resets every time you see a rare. What is the CO2 in the room? Hold up. Air quality is fair. Oh, it's down to 610. Brr, it's cold in office. Time to turn up the heat or put on a sweater. I will close the window now. This is very exciting. I know all about my office. Apparently we are at less than 0.3 radon, so that's good. Now I think if it's a damage card, it's Bouncing Flask, not Second Fumes. Bouncing Flask is a bit more exciting, probably. But I feel like our damage is like existing already. more about setting up faster, which is either a gamble or an acro. Maybe it's just an acro. Given that I'm failing to spend all of my energy, acro seems real good. Alright, 45 health. We upgrade ink plans. That may be acro. Think plants. There's a chance of snow Sunday night. Same. Right.
Hey, Jim Pizzazz. I don't know what you're so like. That machine is the prime. Why are you still awake? Higher dose of ADHD and meds always to be working. It's keeping you all weak. Isn't that a bad thing? Doesn't seem like what it would be meant to be doing. He's not playing Ironclad anymore, am I right? Hole, but it doesn't really matter anymore because the buffs are all gone. The buffs rather are all gone. Also, I block for 21 with cloak and daggers, so you know. You know. Being able to accomplish tasks is pretty good for your body. This much dex. Well, started out with a small loan from my parents. It's probably not it. Those very much either. <laughs> I wonder if skip is correct here. Straight up. Like, I'm just gonna take fusion hammer and get an apotheosis, I guess, but I wonder. Wonder a little bit. Expect more characters or slaves by I don't know. After you ask the doves. Severn, thanks for 25 months. I met the lead artist for the Slayers Wire art tonight and got his autograph. That's cool. 
Was it like a meet and greet or uh, sort of like a random coincidence? I see you heard of Frey Makers. Shark can play a lot of cards which don't do very much. This is the Busted Crown experience. Yulik has been fine so far. It's done about what I expected it to do. Can't ask for anything more than that. That's cool. Emerald City Comic Con. Isn't that like in Seattle? In Seattle, the Emerald City? Sure, don't go outside very much. <laughs> sure, don't go outside very much. They're doing conventions, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Nature is healing. I wish, Sneaky Strike. I wish. Welp. I think Cloak and Dagger used to be one of my best cards, but uh, that's too bad. This is a way to upgrade all of my cards. Oof. If I didn't have two strikes on my deck, I might take this. Like, I'm actually really close to taking it. Probably need one more acro and two less strikes. Even with pentagraph, like. So I'm just gonna die when I get to the fights. YouTube Jorb's thumbnail I can make. Gosh, I do not think about YouTube at all. Lately, too many rude people on YouTube. I think I've officially given up on reading YouTube comments, which is very upsetting. Guardian here. Yeah, I think we're gonna be all right. YouTube is simply a bad platform. 
you can tell this because it is worse than Twitch, which is itself a bad platform. Therefore, YouTube must also be a bad platform. What makes YouTube bad? Probably thumbnail jorbs. I just hate his smarmy grin. I hate it so much that I'm going to start writing a comment in which I call Jorbs names. What is a good platform? The only good platform is a back alley jazz club downtown. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Because if you want to it too, you would stop being exclusive and special. I should probably take this poison stab, which is very depressing. But I should probably take it. I can get a different damage source in like two shops, probably. I'm gonna trust. Trust my two shops to find me a like I don't know. Literally anything else. A literally anything else. Yeah, I mean that's like sort of enough already. <laughs> I don't need much. I knew a good platform that had to be there. But the bad platforms have a monopoly on viewership and I need to make money so I can eat food. So, I'm not really sure that I have control over this. Have I thought about not eating food? I think pretty much immediately after consuming Wendy's, all humans consider not eating food. And I am no different. Maybe train network television. Think I could go mainstream. They couldn't handle me on network television. There's no chance. Will internet not become mainstream soon? I don't know what mainstream means, so I'm not sure I'm qualified to comment. I don't really, like, get it. Hey, Cinnabon. The hot Famales bit doesn't work with the mainstream audience. I think it would. <laughs> I mean, that's just... that particular bit was timeless humor. Have any food places advertised with hot tamales near you? It wouldn't work, right? But would it? I have a lot of burns. Tried googling Jorb's hot. Amales? Yeah, you're gonna want to not eat. Oh. I'm on fire. 
fire. God, please stop. Nemesis really just gave me 7 million burns and then uh, started attacking every turn, huh? I sure drew them all. Skewer, Malaise, and Doppelganger are Silence X cards. Forty-five me. Okay. Okay, this is susceptible. I'm gonna hold two defends, I think. We did it! Yay! I could use another acrobatics on my deck. Tactician. Oh, my strikes are upgraded. That's good. Power potion. It's a good upgrade pot. Good upgrade pot. Let's go. Power pot over poison pot. I'll just hit like fumes or even infinite blades seems okay with kunai. Something like that. I guess I should be using my potions even. Right. Right. Feel. With an irrational fear of flying, you're getting on a plane and flying over the ocean for the first time in six hours. I don't know the easy answer to that. I think it's hard. I'm sorry, this was not very useful. We beat writhing mass. Take off and landing spook me a little bit. I've been on a lot of planes at this point in my life. But not for a while. what to do in case of a plane crash. Love that advice. <laughs> it's incredible. Not sure it's helpful, but it's 
incredible. Might as well rest, yeah. Mm, you could get like a Gary or something. A shovel. Have 150 HP or so. Got a lot of HP. The boot. Oh. Oh, I think this card would have won me the run. That is upsetting. I'm gonna take another Fumes, I guess. Today. I don't know. Let's use this in this fight. Skydiving, despite being afraid of skydiving, is so inconceivable to me. Like, the best thing about a fear of skydiving, to my mind, is that it will never be relevant in any way to my life. I just simply don't skydive, lol. But if you were afraid of skydiving? And then he just went skydiving. <laughs> Gosh. I just don't understand the human experience, I think. <laughs> I just don't understand humans. A super rich model falls in love with you, but only if you are able to skydive. I guess I didn't consider that. That is a thing I should probably have considered. Like. Alright. All the super rich models in chat. Would you fall in love with someone based entirely on whether they could skydive? Be honest with us. It's quite a few yeses, actually. It's quite a few yeses. Alright, maybe you're onto something. <laughs> Not entirely. <laughs> You'd also want to know if they enjoyed long walks on the beach. thought they were poor. I think modeling is probably underpaid. I don't really know. My understanding of modeling is mostly from the Flight of the Concord song. Did you see that we've found a 
cube on the moon and we're investigating it. Where did I read that? Was that on Reddit? I don't know. I don't know where I got my news from. It's so fucking worthless. <laughs> I can imagine caring in any way about that thing. You saw it on Reddit, maybe that's where I got it from. It's a rock with shadows. Oh my god, don't get me so excited. <laughs> Watchmaker? Is the Watchmaker God or aliens? I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> but I might be a little behind here. Gosh, what's the guy who says aliens up to these days? I haven't heard from him recently. Aliens. Maybe there's just not a market for it anymore. How much do I pay for thumbnail jobs? A lot. An embarrassing amount. He <laughs> got abducted. That makes a lot of sense. If only we had listened. I don't know, this upgrade potion's really good, but maybe there are other potions that are better. Right. I should probably like try to look for something better. I think there are quite a few potions that are like about the same. A good deck spot is probably about the same, for example. is certainly a potion. I watched a couple episodes of Ancient Aliens in 2015 and nothing has felt quite real since. What a letdown that life isn't just like fucking awesome. J Dog, thanks for the two years. I'm gonna show you two. Percentage chance is there that I am an alien in your mind? Hundred percent. That sounds about right. I'm like about eighty percent confident that I'm an alien. Not quite a hundred. 
But I think there's a possibility for sure. Maybe even a high possibility. Don't abduct you? Wait, don't abduct you? Hold on. Yeah, I need to make a call. I was not expecting don't. Aren't I literally an alien as a Kiwi? That's just a cover story, I think. So if I, like, mess up and blow my cover, no one will suspect anything. Oh, he just means he's from another country, haha. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah, haha. <laughs> like that, that sort of thing. It's the vibe of it. Haha. <laughs> Cinnabon! Thank you for the eight months. These are the potions I had last silent run, aren't they? Not exactly. They're good potions for the hard fight. Also, last silent run I had a kunai. What is this? That was two silent runs ago. I feel like I lost a lot of runs at the end of the stream yesterday. Still a better cover story than a Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, I mean, Mark was one of our first attempts, you know. I didn't expect us to get everything right the first time. Mark just put in the same seed twice. <laughs> cards. Yeah. It means I don't have a hundred health though. So am I the real winner? I don't know. One, two, three. Power, 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 power. Well, they plans should run this fight pretty much by itself, I think. Um... Hmm. Just power. Block. Block, block? These two? One, two, three, power. Power is the alien chant. Seven dexterity and uh, noxious fumes, and this is basically my life. Ow! Use a leg sweep. Sleep. 
Occam is rolling in his grave. Wouldn't the simplest thing be that Occam is dead and doesn't care? Occam was an alien plant. Oh shit, they're onto us. This time eater hit me so hard and so often. Doesn't seem cool. Just a sheathing implement invented by a guy called Occam. That does seem like the simplest explanation, yeah. Am I allowed to ask you chess questions, Peter? Or are you like, is that inappropriate as you are currently in your rest time? Do you think Magnus pushes his heart? Pushes? Do you think Magnus pushes hard as white today? I'm curious. Think so? Right. Ends the match if it wins. True. And it seems like. I don't know if this is like real or not, but it seemed like yesterday Nepo was sort of not all of the way recovered yet. I don't know, maybe like today they are. I think it's a really interesting match situation. Starts in three hours or so. The whale trick works on Time Eater and Champ and Awakened One. All three of those enemies have a turn where they cleanse all of their debuffs and buffs, but retain any positive strength that they have. But like everything else, wait. They cleanse all their debuffs. It's, I guess it's slightly different between the three of them. Anyway. Um, they all have a turn where they cleanse everything. How about we just say that? And Piercing Whale gives negative strength, and it gives a debuff, which will give you positive strength at the end of the turn. But the point is that they cleanse that debuff. That is the point. And so then, because they have cleansed that debuff, they don't get the strength back. So if Awakened One had 2 strength, and I Piercing Whale down to negative 6 strength on the turn where I killed its first phase, its second phase would begin at 0 strength instead of 2 strength, because it wouldn't ever get its strength back and it would remember that it had negative 6 strength when it died and cleanse it up to 0. If it had 8 strength, it would also go to 0. 
I gave it minus 8 with Piercing Wild Plus. If it had like 12 strength, it would go to 4. There is a limit for the strength of this interaction. But it's like pretty strong, I don't know. It is good to know. Charlatan Hollow. This is one of many reasons why Piercing Whale is a very good card. The other ones being that I just sort of like it, and that it's handy around the house. Against the heart, this is basically reversed, yeah? Yeah, you don't really want to do that against the heart for slightly complicated but very lethal reasons. I think I'm just going to play both of these powers, actually. Uh, how good is Piercing Whale at fixing the plumbing issues? There are things which are better, but they're not that much better. It's like a little bit better. I'm actually gonna take a bit of damage again. I think it's fine. I have to rest up next campfire, so I benefit absolutely zero. If I keep extra health leaving this fight. Use Piercing Whale to deal diplomatically with visiting sales people. Another thing that I read today, I think also on Reddit, was that the Church of Latter-day Saints missionary work is not intended to convert new people. It's intended to put young men of the age which usually would leave the church into social groups with other people, also from the Church of Latter-day Saints. Which made a lot of sense, and also made me think I should really have asked them to do yard work for me. Bill House, hello. It's supposed to make them feel rejection from non-Mormons and become socially reliant on the church. Do you think... Do you think people are ever like, wait, this is an awful thing to do. I shouldn't do it. Do you think ever, like, does anybody ever do that? Or is it just always like, this is an awful thing to do, but it's how we've always done it, so I will do it again anyway. Just me, maybe? I don't know if I do that. <laughs> you might be giving me slightly too much credit there. Roughly thanks to the Prime sub. I appreciate it. I feel like that was an excellent moment to passively point out that I was... Um, an Amazon contractor. <laughs> This is an awful thing to do, but it works, and success is more important than morals. I wonder what percentage of the exploits of humanity could be actually described as working with a straight face. Like by someone who was actually impartial.
Don't imagine it's a very high number. My morals say that greed is bad, but making more money is good. <laughs> Appreciate it, roughly. Five monkeys experiment. What is the five monkeys experiment? Oh, is that the band? I always wondered if that music was some sort of social experiment. Certainly, I get to a point where my deck is actually okay. Takes a while, though. Might take a bit too long. Playing some Slay the Spire while I wait for Fortnite Chapter 3. I love Fortnite. I'm really looking forward to month, which I guess is coming out soon. Ah. I could... Hmm. What do I think about... Effective altruism people working morally dubious jobs to make money and donate it. I think that by working morally dubious jobs they become bad people. Probably. Accuracy. I want a bit more damage, but I don't really want to get rid of... I mean... Ancient Pot saves me like, what? Depends if I drop Piercing Whale or not. I want to save Piercing Whale, though. Saves me like... Oof. 30 health or something. But I have a lot of health at this exact moment. I might stop having a lot of health pretty soon. I have a pentagram. It'd just be the uh, liquid bronze. I don't really make any shivs other than infinite blades, so accuracy is not that exciting. Alright, let's try this. I'm gonna use the duck spot on the elite fight probably. I could also take a deadly poison, unupgraded. Actually, kill the enemy. Okay. People who believe they're good people are more likely to do morally questionable things. The good news is that I believe I'm sort of a shitter. That was a really good turn one hand that I just used to walk for two, I guess. And now I will take the full, I guess, 59. Yeah, that's not so bad. Nice, an ancient potion. Oh, um, I shouldn't apply this because I have ice cream. I actually just shouldn't do anything this turn. Okay. Any like neutralizes, maybe? Yeah, okay. This 
This isn't actually that bad. Like, it's pretty bad. It could be worse. We have five monkeys and a ladder with a banana on top. If monkey goes up, everyone is drenched in cold water from showers above. Eventually the monkeys attack anyone that tries to get the banana. They slowly replace one monkey at a time, and when the new one goes to get the banana, everyone beats him up. But this repeats till all the monkeys are replaced, and none of them have ever been drenched in cold water, but they don't mess with the banana because that's just how things work in there. Why are we so mean to monkeys? Why can't we just like chill out? Sort of fucked. Oh, it has no study backing yet? Okay, that's good. But we were actually being that mean to monkeys. Ooh. Oh, I sort of like monkeys. They're sort of cute. Poor sick monkeys alone. They're sick. They've got problems enough as it is. to dislike something, you know? So I want to save my energy for disliking the things that are really worth disliking, like peanut butter. Eric, thanks for the 34 months. She did it. I'm going to show to you too. Well, but okay. Actually, it's fine. Is I play weak, at least for the first attack. I have Ancient Potion with Vulnerable. So I don't think I want Piercing Whale in this cycle anyway. 33? Babby Heart gets its first attack. What a cutie. Discard? Yes. Ow. Resurrections. Yep. I'm about to start using them. Correct. And unfortunately, it is time to find out. Uh, 
time to say good. Go to an opera. Y'all want to go to an opera? Imagine being able to just like go outside and not dying of coronavirus instantly. Ganked by the virus. Our battery is currently dead. That matches the energy at the opera, I think. This looks like an easy busted crown win. Still a piercing whale, right? Yeah. Nine block for 69 wins. Operas are actually almost safe to go to here. Makes sense. Not many people in the audience. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> we started talking about how mean I was to peanut butter, and I just <laughs> started going for everything else too. 